And um, now, His uh, Your Excellency, we're going to shift to another subject, and that is the subject of a leader of the Islamic Defenders Front, or the FPI, uh, Rizik Shihab, who just returned to Indonesia. And um, initially, he had denied that he had overstayed in Saudi Arabia and claiming that Saudi Arabia had previously rejected his exit permit but later he extend he said that the um, his stay uh, his visa was actually extended but uh, we're also of course receiving such conflicting reports from the government from Rizik Shihab himself from FPI and many more so from the Saudi Arabian government side on uh, having to host uh, Rizik Shihab for years what is there a message that you would like to convey after his return here to Indonesia? Well, there is no any message because Rizq Shahab was there in the, uh, Saudi Arabia as any other Muslim. He was he was uh, uh, staying in in, uh, in Mecca, and when uh, the time is comes that he want to uh, be back to Indonesia, so we uh, authorities allowed him to be uh, back, and uh, there was no. Uh, any kind uh, of problem just to uh, let him uh, stay more in, in, in the country because it's uh, uh, the decision is Rizq Shahab decision, it's not our decision. Okay. So when he decided to come back to uh, Indonesia, we allowed him to decide. There was in the beginning a uh, kind of uh, uh, stay uh, uh, fallation, but uh, uh, after that, uh, it was normal, and he uh, preferred to stay some sometimes. When he decided to come back, we allowed him to be back. Okay. So communications have always been very tight between the Saudi Arabian government and the Indonesian government when it comes to the stay of Rizik Shihab. Well, there was a kind of uh, communication between the two sides, yes. Okay. And mm -hmm. uh, regarding the um, his overstay, the, um, the government said that it implicated a very hefty fine. So who was actually housing Rizik Shihab at the time? Was there any institutions involved or the government or was it just on the, um, or was it just Rizik Shihab individually who had stayed? I think it's individually. Okay. There was no any kind of problems. There was no any, any, any kind of, uh, uh, what we call it, uh, uh, violation on wrong uh, or uh, against the uh, immigrant uh, system in the country. Uh, he was individually uh, preferred to stay until it was the time to be back. So mm -hmm. that's what happened. And uh, well, uh, Your Excellency, on uh, our last note and our last question, what would you like to convey to our audience right now? Well, uh, first of all, I'd like to thank you very much, uh, Channel uh, CNN Indonesia, for giving us uh, this opportunity, uh, talking about uh, the uh, G20 summit in uh, Riyadh and the presidency of uh, Saudi Ar uh, Arabia uh, during the year 2020, and uh, also the uh, cooperation between uh, the Saudi Cherba and uh, the, the, the group of, Sherba uh, uh, group of Saudi Arabia, to make this uh, summit success and to make this uh, year of presidency uh, success. Uh, well, I'd like uh, to tell uh, our brothers Indonesians that also, uh, al always Saudi Arabia is uh, happy and feel uh, uh, happy to receive you all the time during the whole year for Hajj or for Umrah or visiting uh, Saudi Arabia. Uh, now I think it's uh, uh, Saudi Arabia is more open than uh, before. So also for tourism, Saudi Arabia is open and uh, there are so many wonderful uh, programs for visitors to Saudi Arabia. Hopefully that our Indonesian brothers will take this opportunity and visit Saudi Arabia aside from Hajj and Umrah. Well, Your Excellency, you know that we sure will. <laughs> Thank you so much, Your Excellency. Once again, we'd like to extend our profound gratitude, especially us being here in your home. We're so very honored. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.